Welcome back to the channel. We're here doing some Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader. Uh, we just had a really <laughs> combat that had a really weird thing where we summoned a blood letter on the first round of combat. The first, like the second. It's the second move by my guys. It, yeah, that that wasn't fun. <laughs> uh, we did make it through it though. We had a couple people Keep drop if you saw the last video. Um, which is unfortunate because now they got a bunch of wounds, but you know. Let's see, what's. Okay, this is intriguing. What's intriguing? Uh, what's intriguing? Oh, 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 oh. I see. Traps. Nothing escapes my sight. Pay attention. More traps? See? Right there. Wow. Never doubt me. The Emperor favors me today. Duty prevails. They really trapped this place up, didn't I mean like it's a broken I bridge. I myself through my service. Never that doubt seems me. Seems like a waste of traps. I mean, obviously I'm going the over Emperor here, but favors me today. <laughs> Clearly oblivious to your presence, the soldier mutters to himself. Incoherently does not react to anything around him. Okay, well we'll take his stuff. Cause you know, obviously I always keep my options open. When he comes to his senses, if he decides to, he can walk away because the traps are disarmed. So, you know, that should be worth something to him. Over there. Over there. Oh, okay. I am kind of glad that it pauses whenever something like that happens. Ancient Terra Monocled. Where's Lore Imperium tests depend on fellowship instead of intelligence and gain a plus three bonus? Ah, uh, I don't know. That may come in handy somewhere down the road. I don't know. I'll have to look at it. Um, I'm still not 100% sure how everything interacts in the game as far as that goes, so I'm not sure what is... Like, I can't see a piece of equipment like that and be like, oh, that's better than what I've got, or that's going to do something really cool, because I really don't know yet. I really haven't quite figured all that out yet. Yet, so, uh, so still, still learning. Is there nothing down here? Is this just a waste of space? Let us not dawdle. Apparently, okay. No goods or nothing. Wow. All right, I have a feeling we're gonna save here because I have a feeling this looks like it's going to be a really big battle. Yep. Rebels and captives right here. Is there money to be made? Some ten people, children among them, are huddling together in fear. The older family members are doing what they can to calm the young. Several armed insurgents are watching the frightened hostages, but the watchers themselves are looking around nervously. Now listen, come to your senses, Arid. Arid. Look what you're doing to your own family. A woman of about 60, gray-haired but still strong, is kneeling before a stocky man with a thick, pure white beard. Stretching your arms toward him. Take pity on us. Let us go. Benekal, old man. Can't you see I'm trying to save you? The man clutches his weapon tightly. Only Aurora can help us. Why can't you understand that? Upon seeing you, the man points his weapon at you. The other insurgents do the same. Who are you and what do you want? No. No, you tell me. I'm the chief. My former name, Ariad, is meaningless now. I am a father leading his family to deliverance from woes to salvation. Aurora has opened my eyes to the truth, and my children will see it. Ariad, spare us! Spare your children! His mind and soul are pierced by shards of colorful deception. Hughes, once twisted by despair, and the materium's influence can never be the same again. Pascal's fox hisses fiercely. Layperson, cognition is not your primary function. You are saving your kin by holding them at gunpoint and believe that burning their eyes will grant them sight. It is evident that the author of this demagogic teaching that confused you is meant to make a mockery of your deplorable intellect. <laughs> okay. To cast your own children into the thrall of heresy, to drown your progeny in this filth with your own hands. What you're doing is no salvation. Stop taking your fear out on the innocent. It will neither ease your suffering nor would you of your fear. 
but all I wanted was to save I the man drops his weapon and covers his face with his hands in desperation. You hear several short sobs. The woman rises from her knees and approaches her husband. I know you were trying to save us, but there's still a way to set things right. Is there? The old man gestures, gestures at the other insurgents who lower their weapons. He then shifts his gaze to you, trying to hold back tears. What happens to us now? I mean... I mean, that, 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 that seems like an okay choice, to be honest with you. But, okay, your family may go, and so may you, but make sure I do not see you again. Do not ever see you again. This seems like it's a, uh, kind of against the 40k universe to do it that way. Oh, the hostage is being leaving soon, the group disappears around one of the bins. The old man looks away, and then looks away from them and walks in the opposite direction. His shoulder shakes and sobs every now and then. I killed him, would that have uh, started me a big fight there? I don't know. What's a peculiar thing? I mean, they were standing on these traps. How were they standing on these traps? They were literally Nothing just... My sight. Oh, dude. Always keep your eye on the price. Wait, there's something over here. But first, I want to disarm that because. Duty prevails. Join up with your hives and your streamers. Okay, we're gonna go on this way and then come Keep back. Keep your wits about you. Cover was half heavily as some from whatever the rebels could find. Okay. All right. So let's go down here. Rise to the top, or get left in the dust. Okay, nothing here. I kind of wonder if some of this stuff, maybe I just don't have a high enough perception to pick it up, maybe? I always keep my options open. Where did it go to? There it is. Oh, what's that? Shards of crystallized darkness. I mean, that sounds cool. <laughs> Whatever crystallized darkness is. Let's save here. I always have a backup plan. There's some goods. Command center. Okay, I don't want to go there yet. I don't Let think. Let's see what's up here first. Let's clear this. Make sure this is clear. Yeah, it looks like it's clear. Okay, I'm guessing command center is the next is spot to go. Money to be made? Um, maybe. I don't know. All right, we're gonna save here before we go in, because command center sounds like we're probably gonna see a fight. So let's see here. First attacks are harder to dodge. Yeah, they miss a lot too. <laughs> but, okay. Alright, so... The formidable shells for large caliber weapons are being stored right in the command center. Okay, those are some pretty... Those are some pretty big shells. Alright, let's see. Welcome to the Rocket Menor's command center. Wait, they're just welcoming me in? I can level. I can level. Let's level. Choose skill. Oh. See, I didn't realize I could actually see what they have. I just highlight it. I mean, I think we're going to go commerce. Because, I mean, I am a rogue trader, so... I 
I'm gonna stack some more fellowship, I think. Alright, let's see. So, tech use. I don't need tech use. Uh, I can't take awareness. Don't really need logic either. Or Xenos. I'm going to go with Lore Warp, I guess. And then... Willpower? Alright, we're going to go Willpower. And then, let's see what he gets. Can't do tech use. We can't do logic, which is what we're gonna do. We're gonna play to our strengths here. And... Intelligence. I mean, he has like crazy... Weapon skill. So we're going to play into that, I think. Or do we really want to? I don't know. Let's let's do that. Let's just do that for right now. Alright. Oh, this is the part I hate. So let's see. Rapid reload. One plus BS bonus, ballistic skill bonus, divided by two. I mean, how often do I stay at full wounds? Trace the trajectory. Huh. Rapid fire no longer.
I still don't know if that counts as an area attack. We're gonna go with that. And then... strength, I guess. Alright. If there are no enemies adjacent to the warrior at the start of the turn, the warrior's damage is increased by two times strength bonus. So two times, so it's eight. That's actually not bad. It's actually pretty good too. I do like that though. Because it's every turn you're going to add like 8 damage as long as there's not somebody standing beside of you when it starts. So that's pretty nice. We're going to play in the strength here too. And then... Cassia. Okay, so... Perception... Or warp. We're going to play in the awareness for right now, I think. And then probably perception. All right, so let's let's move on here. Uh, yeah. Keep I hope your wits about you. They're not going to attack me. I hope. Governor Medina, the tall, dark-skinned man turns toward you and greets you in a curt military manner. Faisal Rakabi uh, Medina of Crocus, governor of this star system, welcome to my temporary headquarters. The man's gaze falls to an elbow to artist. Uh, slightly narrow. We're Serian? Governor Medina, my greetings. Medina. The governor's expression changed drastically when he sees Cassia. Lady Navigator? What an honor. I never thought that House of Rosalio would grace our world with a visit. I only wish I could have received you under different circumstances. Cassia purses her lips and echo grief and knocks the wind out of those present. House of Rosalio is grateful for the support that you have provided to Eurex five these many years. I'm not seeing the convoy I'd sent to meet you. What happened? Did they fail to find and escort you? If that is so, I promise you their punishment was swift and severe. Combo is an ambush. There are no survivors except Private Camille Regalis. I must commend his extraordinary loyalty and resilience. Only one good soldier in the whole convoy. Pathetic. Head to the barracks, Private, and wait new orders. Your Lordship, before we proceed with discussing the matters that are of interest to you, there is a question I might feel compelled to ask. It was only recently that Lady Theodora was the head of the House of Von Valencius. I have received no word of her demise. How is it that you are now the rogue trader? I 
Steen, predecessor, done. Gunner frowns, deep shadow falls upon his face. Rogue traitor von Valencia, slain, unthinkable. Please accept my deepest and most sincere condolences, your lordship. Do not hesitate to let me know how I might be of help. I mean, I really only met her once, so I don't know that it's like. <laughs> anyway, I need a fresh crew to replace those killed in the attack in the, on the ship, and I need material compensation. The governor, Commander Tess, is The governor bows his head in acceptance. Of course, your lordship, you will be compensated for any losses, and I see to it that personally that your ship's holds are filled with the finest goods from my personal reserves. Wow. Okay. Profit factor gained two. Okay. Abelard, Abelard nods in approval and remarks quietly, "Excellent, your rogue trader has no use for leniency." I can offer you several thousand fine obedient servants. However, I am said to inform you that I won't be able to do it until I've dealt with the insurgency on this planet. I'm sure you won't have long have to wait long. The rabble will soon be duly punished for their heretical scheming. Let's ask about the interrogator. Lowers his voice. I do. Master von Kallax has left for the hallowed electrodynamic synobium. It's an ancient monastery of the Deptus Mechanicus. I don't know what his objectives are. Needless to say, an insurgent activity has been observed in the monastery's vicinity, but I suppose that's too petty of a problem for an agent of the most holy inquisition. Besides, I've already sent a small detachment of reinforcements there. The weapon the insurgents were using to shoot down shuttles over the city has been destroyed. Now, nothing is preventing you from returning to your ship. If you wish to find Master Von Kalex, you should do go to the Synobium of the Acceptus Mechanicus. Notes of things that a group in the voice that rattles from. On behalf of the priesthood of Mars, I'm Magos Hanamon, and am officially initiating my participation in the operation. I must inspect the state of the relic and assure myself that it is under zero risk of falling into heretic hands. According to the <laughs> catechism of maintenance and operation, my tech comrades were supposed to lock the monastery gates and against lay people and activate the traps. I deem it optimal that an ordained Magos should provide his assistance. A category object. As much as I respect the sanctity of your monastery, I have my own I have on my hands a whole capital that needs to be attended by the Omnisaya's servants. We've lost many eminent Czech priests. Incidentally, one of them perished in that same monastery. Mechanical failures could occur at any moment, putting it bluntly. You may consider yourself forcibly recruited to the city's defense forces. Medina and Pascal glared at each other, their unyielding gazes like cross swords. You have picked an interesting time to quarrel with the servant of the Omnisaya, Governor. Uh, in hurry to give him orders. Uh, you mistake me for a fool. I know he, that he arrived separately from you, and it would bet my life that no... The Governor's voice dies down in the low growl of drilling. And at. His tip is directed straight to the to bridge of my nose. Medina clears his throat and grumbles stubbornly. So this is the negotiating technique you have resorted to. Do you think this is the first time I've been threatened with a weapon? No, but it could be your last. Pascal's voice is akin to the sound produced by drilling implements, steady and calm, but ready to explode. In the I'm heading to the monastery because I must. Is that clear? Evidently so, I guess. It would be my pleasure. Thank you for your cooperation and ownership. The drill stops. As compensation for your consideration of my request, I, Megos Hanuman, officially undertake to accompany you in the Rakid system in the role of a bodyguard and protect you at all costs until your life functions cease, but only within the limits of the Rakid system. You're Hanuman. I'm glad you're alive. The governor raises his eyebrow and starts to take priest in surprise, but refrains from further commentary. I have never been there before, but I would presume that the sacred relic of the reactor is capable of great destruction, should it end up in heretic hands. The fury of the freed machine spirits, once released from their sacred circuit, will destroy everything around them. The degree of damage inflicted may render the world of Rakid Minoris uninhabitable. Heresy must be purged from those blessed halls. I declare any desecrator who defies the egg relic's power a category 3 blasphemer, deserving of immediate execution. Governor looks at Pascal. According to the reports we received, Logus Abel Hanuman set off for the hallowed electrodynamic synobium a short while before he was stormed. I'm glad to find out that you're safe. Perhaps you possess information on Master Von Kalox. My name is Pascal.
Pascal Hammond, not Abel. I know nothing about such a person. Think about this Abel. Never met him in person. The esteemed Logos supervised the work on Rakid Menorah's Lexan mechanics for many years. However, he rarely left his cyber chapel, and I never had the honor of making his acquaintance a true Angerite. When did he fly the. When the Logos of the Adeptus mechanics wants to go somewhere, we don't ask why, Your Lordship. I mean, did. Eh, bring information on this individual. I would have suggested you inspect the esteemed Logos' sanctum, but it was destroyed by the rebels. We recovered several data crypts and connected them to the cogitators in the command post. They might provide you some information. It's making the mechanical voice from Vox. It's going so confused. That name might have been used as a signal intelligible only to its intended recipient. In that case, its bearer might be Archimagos Amarnat, initiating an investigation and data collection procedure. Edra tenses up and listens, and turns around sharply to face Pascal. I can hear my friend Snide whisper whispers through the door. Be careful on your search, Megos. If you stare into the shattered mirror too long, you might see yourself in it. And every shard at once. Mending is much more of a tainted affair than the new reflection is deathlike. I see. Let it be a service your lordship. The sergeant who managed to impress the person of such noble standing will be recommended for decoration. My kinsman, Voltivir, Voltivir is a traitor. Why, any family, however noble, has an unworthy sky on to. Naturally, we will surrender him should we find him within our, my jurisdiction. Unfortunately, I have no information regarding his location. However, we have a codicator here at the command center. It's connected to the data crypt from the religious able sanctum. It aggregates all the like, mechanic reports. Unfortunately, the access prayer for it is unknown to me. If you manage to commence that server machine, you might learn something about Hunrad's movements. I'd hazard he fled from your own ship, not on a pair of wings. Are you so confident? Is that so, the government maintains? I'd like to hear your reasoning. My reasoning? One would have to be blind on seeing the signs of cultist activity. Have you ever had to deal with such a threat before? I have. Do not. So do not waste my time with requests to prove provide the obvious because I expect The governor hesitates before answering his face slowly turned purple thing. Your lordship he grits through his I know who you are. I have heard of your exploits, and I will not allow a stranger, let alone another rogue traitor, to speak to me in such a manner and make demands of a subject of his lordship Cal Caligula's winter scale. The matter is closed, let us speak no more of it. Okay. Well, I guess I didn't really find out what's going on. So, let's see. And what am I supposed to do? Uh, maybe home of the massive bunker. Talking to him from the other room, apparently. What am I supposed to? The treasure looks a lot older and more worn than the ones next to it. However, it has evidently been well cared for. Numerous parts have been replaced. No, a single key jammed and the fresh seals of prayers to the Omnimessiah during its... Omnimessiah during its service. So one of the side panels has been removed. Bundles of gold notch cables run from inside to a small data crypt that was connected to only a short while ago. It reads, awaiting access code. You have bypassed the security layers. The contractor ready to build its secrets. Pascal leans forward and rubs his fingers over the keys. The conjugator's screen blinks and responds with a string of unknown characters. I appeal to the machine spirit to open Logis Abel's personal archives as well. I cannot see the secret design, but I can sense it shackled in the stasis. The minds of it initiated are slumbering in neural harness. I am registering an impulse of change. That's her massive potential. Influence in the status of the secret design. There came a time when the spirit when the spiral was turned into a circle. This cycle can be discontinued. Relation granted to Aunt Messiah to the Logis Abel was in the course of data meditation it has been recorded verbatim. Logis Abel was able to uh, seeking audience with the venerable Da Impulse 
6, who may assist in interpreting the revelation. A request has been sent to the Governor's Palace for a shuttle flight to Electrodynamic Synobium. A message has also been sent to the Furibunda system. It's like when we can I recognize the words whisper boxes, soft and pensive, barely audible over a static noise. I believe I know the intended recipient of the message in the Funerbrus. It was me, I'm the Messiah. Grant me wisdom to fathom this mystery. Upon Logis Aegis' orders, the archives of every Augur station in Rakhod Minoris and the two primary satellites of Rakhod Star have been queried. Said satellites are named Megos Maruf and Zephira the Keen. After two great champions of faith, whose external conjugators were placed inside the satellite's cores after their shells perished, the purpose of the sacred computation requested by the Logis is to uncover the external influence behind the ongoing insurgency. Computation result positive. Multiple instances of interference and malfunction detected, suggesting that the ships moving across the system deliberately blinded the sacred augur's eyes. The first of these ships was thought to have arrived two wreckhead menorah cycles ago, early in the winter. The most recent one arrived a month ago. Logis Abel's conclusion that insurrection on the planet has been long in the making and the participation of external actors. It is alleged that two cycles ago, Aurora arrived in the Rakhoid station. A rumored unholy prophet of the insurgents, the subsequent ship movements can be attributed to weapon deliveries. What is the nature of the activity near Rakhati Phyla? Governor Medina's attention must be drawn to. Final entry comes off abruptly. Mekos Maruf's reports that the ship's signal has been broadcast through the system. Its signature is consistent with the records of a flagship of a rogue trader dynasty, House von Valencius. The satellite Zephyra the Keen reports that a ship drifting nearby has hurriedly sped away. That ship has sent an encrypted Vox message to the insurgent controlled areas of the surface of Rakhad Menoris. Another transmission was directed to the planetoid Rakhaldi Philia. Both transactions were staged, were signed Brother Twilight. Their contents could not be decrypted. Entry contains planet psychos marked as heavy auger station jamming, possibly hidden insurgent base. Okay. Alright, so now what else? Tech priest cords calling me. Where's. I'm not supposed to talk to here. Oh, there. Okay. I don't know why it was so hard to find them. Tech peak course frame. The painfully thin tech breeze turns sharply towards you. Sudden movements make this chromed argument briefly clang. His gray eyes set under furrowed brows, almost blend to the pale skin of his face, and he levels you with a sour. Oh, face. Identification Unit Logis Quartz Crame. Quartz Crame. Official trade representative of the Exploration Explorator Cognizance Fleet. The unit supervises supply routes in the Rakhad system, ensures the security of the combat arsenal, performs commercial transactions, and secures mutually beneficial contracts. Identification. Oh, I didn't take it. When the tech priest notices Pascal is wide, eyes widen, this Vox unit immediately lets out a string of screeching binharic, a torches along tirade in which the volumes rise and fall seemingly at random. When it's finally over, the om omnis omnum omnum omnimessiah, omnimessiah servant bows his head in deference. Unit Quartz came, Quartz Crame requests permission to transfer information. The road trader possesses a supreme degree of power potential to influence the current leadership, the ability to restore order in the Rakhat system. Let's go, what was that? Detailed complaint. I recommend you consider Unit Quartz Crane's request to transfer information. Permission. Tech Priest says sharply and curtly. Haphazard and careless decisions on part of the Rackhead Menorah's governor have led to the acceptable consequences. Communication with the Adeptus Mechanicus Sanctum has been lost. Troops must be sent to the Hallowed Electrodynamic Synobium without delay. Restoring communications with the Third Priest and ensuring the Sanctum's security are our top priorities. You are the head of the rogue trader dynasty. Your position enables you to exert influence and pressure on the subjects of the Imperium. Use Quartz Crane request assistance. The actions of the governor 
Carcel, Ricardi, Abmenia of Cronus must be influenced. Demand that troops be sent to the Holy Monastery of the Duchess Mechanicus. I observe this word that the reads lack diligence in the performance of their duties. This statement is true. I will discuss it. Unit Quartz Crane is grateful. The rotator is highly likely is highly likely to successfully influence the future actions of local authorities. I don't think so, but okay. Come here, Arsenal. Profit factor. Okay, profit factor determines. This value is determined while traveling. Your character can use profit factor for buying items. Profit factor does not spend on purchases. Instead, the level determines the ability to conclude. Equipment, weapons, and other items can be found on vendors. Various throughout the Chronos expanse with trade with the profit factor and reputation required. Reputation is measure the rogue trader's relationship with different factions. Increase your reputation with a particular faction. Okay. So. I have profit factor factor of 15. So I can get the multi key. I can take that. I cannot purchase. Reputation level is too low. Reputation, okay. Ah. Do we try to get the reputation up? I think we do. Let's see how we can get it, I guess. I don't know. This is stuff we don't really have. All we can do with it is do this. This is nothing else we can really do here. Let's go back to trading. I don't want to really trade more than I need to. So let's see. We can get that now. Get that. Get that. Get that. I'm gonna need 17 profit factor, okay. Accept. 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 Let's go ahead and keep going, I guess. Will this increase? Oh, we're short, aren't we? Okay, apparently it doesn't increase our profit value anyway. That's pretty cool. That's really cool. And... That's pretty cool too. So we would like to get those, but we're not going to be able to right this minute. Do we talk to the governor again? Maybe. Tech priest reports crime has been claimed you've not been doing enough to ensure the safety of a death system in America. Heavy side, the governor wearily covers his face with. Of course he does. He's that tech priest. He's very insistent. I ordered the squad to be dispatched to the Holy Synodium of the Deathless Mechanicus. They haven't been heard from yet. I'm afraid this is all I can do under the present circumstances. I don't have a single soldier. I can spare on the capital. I want to discuss as you wish. Scores of crazy insurgents are maiming their own good. Well, okay, okay. I'm not going to be able to change his mind here. So, so what do we do here? Ah, 
I always keep my options open. Turn to the void ship. Well, let's go to the void ship, I guess. I guess. Alright. So we should have some more stuff here. What is the bunker? Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to do that. Let's go here, I guess. So we're going to accept. These are required. I guess these are required. These are optional. Okay. That makes sense. I hope he doesn't leave me after the system. I hope he stays with me because I do like having him. <laughs> He's very useful. So, we'll cover the landing area, your lordship. Glory to the Vaughn of Valencia's dynasty. Okay. So, anyway, this is a good spot, I think, to end this video. Um, we didn't actually get any good combat in that one, but we did get progress the story, and that's kind of important. So,. We're going to end it here before we go any further. Uh, appreciate you joining us, and we'll see you next time.